Welcome to a new video of Aleshop, and today we're going to talk about these two oscilloscopes. These are the Cycland SDS 1104XU and the Rigol DS 1054Z. These 7 inch TFT LCD oscilloscopes have very small differences, and that's why I'm comparing these for you today. First of all, both oscilloscopes have four analog channels. Furthermore, both oscilloscopes have a maximum sample rate of 1 giga samples per second when there's only one channel active. When there are two channels active, the sample rate will be divided over both channels so it will decrease to a maximum of 500 mega samples per second per channel. And with three or four active channels, the sample rate is a maximum of 250 mega samples per second per channel. The sample rate determines how frequently the input signal is being sampled in one waveform or cycle. In addition, the Cyclone has a bandwidth of 100 MHz, but the Rigol only has half of that. Both oscilloscopes also come with a variety of serial decoding options. Both devices can use I2C, SPI, UART decoders, but the Cyclone also has options for CAN and LIN decoders. However, the Cyclone has a lower memory of 14 million points compared to the Rigol, which has 24 million points. But the memory is divided by the amount of channels in use in both oscilloscopes. There are also differences in the math functions and the fast Fourier transform, or FFT, of both oscilloscopes. Cycland has only 8 simple math operations and the Rigol has also these math operations, but also all kinds of logic, logarithmic and exponential math operations extra, which is 17 different math operations in total. Cycland has a qualitatively better FFT in terms of detail and speed of the calculations, because the Cycland has a lot more memory points. Setting up an FFT with the correct settings was a lot easier with the Cycland compared to the Rigol, but the Rigol still has the option to apply all kinds of filters. Furthermore, a small noise test was done at 1 meter distance from each individual oscilloscope with a decibel meter. From the graph can be seen that both oscilloscopes don't produce so much noise and they produce around the same amount of noise. Furthermore, the speed of going through the menus was better with the Cycland. However, the easiness of going through the menus was better with the Rigol because there are a lot of buttons on the sides of the screen. In conclusion, if you have to choose between both devices, it comes down to what you want to use the device for. If you intend to use all kinds of different math operations or need a bigger memory, the Rigol is a better choice. If you need to double the bandwidth or a better FFT quality, then the Cycland oscilloscope is better. Ultimately, there's a little difference in the price between the two devices. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you at the next video.